Hello, my grade 3 learners. I hope you are doing well wherever you are right now. Regarding where you are right now, please look around at your surroundings. Ano po ba ang mga nakikita ninyo? Meron kayang table dyan? May tubig ka ba for you to drink? O hindi kaya may balloons dyan? Sa mga nasa paligid mo ngayon, ano-ano kaya ang solid, liquid, and gas? If your answer is solid for your table, tama ka. Kung liquid naman sa water, you're also correct. At kung ang nasa loob ng balloon ang sagot mo sa gas, tama ka rin. How did we know that? Okay lang kung mali ka ngayon dahil ito ang ating topic for today. Hello? Ako nga po pala si Ate Nikki. I'm from Philippine Normal University, Manila, taking up Bachelor in Science Education with Specialization in Chemistry. Ngayon, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano pa natin nasabi na solid ang iyong desk, Paano nasabi na ang liquid ang tubig? At paano nasabi na ang balloon ay may gas? Kaya halina kayo at samaan ako na tuklasin ang solid, liquid, and gas sa ating topic na Characteristics of Solids, Liquids, and Gases para sa Grade 3 Science, specifically Chemistry, sa first grading dito sa Filipino Science Hub. With that, we should look into our goals for this session. At the end of the lesson, the learners, kayo po yun, should be able to, number one, differentiate solid, liquid, and gas based on their observable properties. Number two, classify common objects found at home and in school according to solids, liquids, and gases. And number three, cite practical applications of the characteristics of solids, liquids, and gases found in their homes. Before we start, Let's test your knowledge of solids, liquids, and gases first. Pwede ninyong ipause ang video at maaari kayong kumuha ng papel at lapis para sagutan ang mga katunungan na ito. Mamaya ay atin silang babalikan at sabay-sabay nating aalamin kung ano nga ba ang mga tamang kasagutan. Ayan, handa na po ba ang lahat? If lahat ay ready na, let's begin. Number 1. What best describes matter? Letter A. Matter is everything that we can see. Letter B, matter is anything and everything that has mass and volume. Letter C, matter is anything that takes up space. Number two, Cheska is writing in her notebook. Cheska's notebook is an example of solid objects. Which of the following best describes the reason why her notebook is solid? Letter A, her notebook does not change its shape. Letter B, her notebook can be compressed. For letter C, her notebook changes its volume. Number three, Princess is eating in the dining room as she notices that some mangoes are colored yellow while others are colored green. What state of matter are the mangoes? Letter A, solid. Letter B, liquid. Or letter C, gas. Number four, Ben is playing group objects on his phone. The objects are coins, eyes, and milk. Which of these objects is not solid? Letter A, the coins. B, eyes. Or letter C, milk. Number five, which of the following is true? Letter A, solid has no weight, but it occupies space. Letter B, liquid flows and takes the volume of its container. Or letter C, gas takes the shape and volume of its container. Number six, Maria walks to school. One day, as she was going home, the rain poured out. She was not worried because she brought her umbrella. What state of matter is the rain an example of? We have letter A, solid, B, liquid, or C, gas. Number seven, Lena poured water into her cup. Then when her mother asked her to transfer the water to a taller cup, she was shocked with what she saw. So she transferred the water again to her cup. What did she observe? Letter A, the volume of water did not change. Letter B, the water flowed into her smaller cup. Or letter C, the amount of water decreased. Number eight, among the objects, which is an example of a gas? Letter A, alcohol. Letter B, smoke. Or letter C, juice. Number nine, which of the following is true about gases? Letter A, 
gases occupy space but do not have weight. Letter B, gases have the same volume even though it is transferred from one container to another. Or letter C, gases take the shape of their container. And lastly, number 10, Sally is amazed at how the water turned into ice when she placed it in the freezer. What is the state of matter of water and ice? Letter A, water is solid while ice is gas. Letter B, water is gas while ice is solid. Or letter C, water is liquid while ice is solid. Okay, let's hold on to our answers sa pretest as we move forward to some unlocking of vocabulary words. Okay, para maunawaan natin ang topic tungkol sa matter, let's talk about the words and concepts na dapat ninyong malaman na ating magagamit habang ipinapaliwanag ang mga bagay sa likod ng solid, liquid, and gas. So, una nating vocabulary word ay mass. When we say mass, it is the amount of matter the object has. Ibig sabihin kung pwedeng matimbang ang isang bagay, ang makukuwang measurement ay ang mass ng isang bagay. Second vocab word ay weight. It is the force due to gravity. Ano nga bang pinagkaiba ng mass at weight? Tingnan natin ang halimbawa na ito. Kapag ikaw ay pumunta sa clinic at nagpatimbang, 25 kilograms ang kinalabasan. Ibig sabihin ang mass mo ay 25 kilograms. Kapag sinabi natin weight, papasok na dito yung konsepto ng gravitational acceleration or g. At ang value nito sa Earth ay 9.81 meters per second squared. For every object sa ating universe, may sarili itong gravitational acceleration. Sabi ko nga, di ba, magkaiba yung mass sa weight. So, para makuha natin yung weight, gagamitin natin yung formula na ito. Weight is equals to mass times g. Okay, so try natin, okay? May nakuha tayong mass kanina, di ba? 25 kilograms. So, ilagay natin yung 25 kilograms sa mass times g. Ano nga ba ang g sa earth? 9.81 meters per second squared. So, i-plug in rin natin yun sa ating g. So, pag nilagay natin sa formula natin, 25 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. At ang ating nakuha answer ay roughly 245.25 newtons. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating weight ay 245.25 newtons. Pero, kapag pumunta ka sa moon, ang iyong mass ay parehas pa rin. Ngunit, ang iyong weight ay magbabago depende sa kung ano yung value ng G sa moon. Okay? Okay, ang ating number 3 na vocabulary word ay volume. Volume is the amount of space the object takes. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume ang nagsasabi kung gaano kalaki ang nakukuwang space ng isang bagay. Fourth vocabulary word is solid. It is a form of matter that has a fixed shape and volume. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong mangyari, kung ano ang shape at volume ng isang object, ng solid object, ganun pa rin ang kanyang shape at volume hanggang sa huli. Ang ating fifth vocabulary word ay liquid. It is a form of matter that has a fixed volume but no fixed shape. Ibig sabihin, ang liquid ay pwedeng magkaroon ng ibang shape, pero ang volume nito ay parehas pa rin. At last, nating vocabulary word ay gas. It is a form of matter that does not have fixed volume and shape. Ibig sabihin, ang mga gas ay pwedeng paiba-iba ng shape at volume. Ito na ang ating six vocabulary words. Tandaan natin ito para sa ating mga discussions. Ngayon naman, magkaroon tayo ng konting icebreaker. So, ang tao dito ay true or false. Bibigyan ko kayo ng mga statements at sasabihin nyo kung ito ba ay true or false. Okay? Ready na po ba tayo? So, ito ang ating mga statements. Number one, solids are compressible because solids can also break. Is it true or false? Number two, Liquids change their volume when transferred from one container to another. Is it true or false? And number three, gases are not matter since we cannot see them. Is it true or false? Yun naman, tignan natin ang inyong mga answers. Kung mostly ang sagot nyo ay true sa mga statements na ito, ibig sabihin naniniwala kayo sa mga misconceptions na ito. 
kasi lahat ng statements na ito ay misconceptions or mali. Okay? So now let's address some of the misconceptions that most of us have. Sana after this discussion, malalaman na natin kung ano nga ba ang mga katotohanan na batay sa tamang scientific explanation. Okay, so let's now go to truth number one. So solids have a fixed volume and shape because they are not easily compressible in small spaces. So kapag sinabi natin compressible, dapat magbabago ang shape ng isang bagay dahil sa pagdiin sa isang bagay. May kita natin sa screens ang iba't ibang objects. So meron tayong apple para sa solid object, meron tayong liquid water para sa liquid, and meron tayong gas sa loob ng balloon para sa gas. May kita natin yung red particles, yung circle. Ito ang mga particles ng ating objects. May kita natin sa solid, sa apple, na ang particles nito ay dikit-dikit. Diba? Kumpara dito sa liquid, which is merong konting space, kumpara dito sa gas, kung saan yung mga particles nila malalayo sa isa't isa, diba? Ibig sabihin, nahihirapan tayong i-compress ang isang solid na bagay kasi dikit-dikit ang mga solid particles nito. Now, let's move on to truth number two, which is liquids have definite volume and indefinite shape. So, ang volume ng liquid po ay hindi magbabago kahit na isalin pa ito sa iba't ibang container. Kapag sinubukan natin na magkaroon ng 100 ml na tubig tulad sa screen, tapos ililipat natin ito sa maliit na cup, tapos ililipat din natin ito sa mas malaking cup, 100 ml pa rin ito. Hindi magbabago ang volume nito kundi ang shape lang po. Let's move on to the last truth, which is truth number three. Gases are matter because they have mass and volume. Even though we do not see gases, they do exist. Paano natin masasabi na gases ang matter? Tingnan natin ang isang balloon sa isang birthday party. Kapag ihipan mo ito, lolobo ito, di ba? Ibig sabihin, ang container, ang balloon. At ang nasa loob nito ay ang gas na nagtitake up ng space ng balloon. Tulad sa ating picture sa screen, di ba? Una, hindi ito nahipan. Tapos dumalaki ito kasi nila, nagkakaroon ng gas sa loob ng balloon. Ibig sabihin, ang container, ang balloon, at ang nasa loob nito ay ang gas na nagtitake up ng space ng balloon. Tulad dito sa ating picture sa screen na una, hindi pa nahipan. Tapos dumalaki ito, na-inflate yung balloon. Dahil sa gas na nilagay sa loob. So if you have other misconceptions about the states of matter that were not discussed earlier, feel free to share it with us. Ngayon, dumako na po tayo sa unang parte ng ating discussion. Ito ay ang solids. So everywhere we look right now, solids are present. Diba? Tumingin ka man sa kanan o sa kaliwa, solid na mga bagay ang makikita. Dahil doon, ang mga characteristics of solids have a great range. Pagdating sa texture, ang solids ay pwedeng maging malambot tulad ng isang stock toy o matigas tulad ng upuan mo ngayon. Hindi lang yon, ang solid ay pwedeng maging kasiliit ng butil ng bigas o it can be as big as a bus. So marami rin features ng solid. So una, solids can be weight para malaman natin kung kaano kabigat ito. Ito nga sinasabi natin na mass. Pangalawa, nakakapag-occupy din ito ng space. Siya sabi natin volume. At third, mayroon itong fixed shape and volume. Kahit sa ang lugar o container mo ito ilagay, magiging parehas pa rin ang kanyang shape at volume. At ang huli, solids cannot be compressed easily in smaller spaces tulad ng mga sabi natin sa misconception natin kanina. This is because of the tightly packed particles of the solid objects. Tingnan natin yung picture dito sa screen. Tikit-tikit yung particles ng ating solid, kaya may hirapan tong i-compress easy. Ilan sa halimbawa nito ay ang cabinet, electric fan, bed, eraser, at iba pa. Mayroon ka pa bang naiisip ng mga solid na nakikita mo sa iyong bahay o sa school? Kung mayroon pa, you may type your answers in the comment section below. Ngayon naman, parehas ang solid at liquid pagdating sa pagkakaroon ng mass and volume. Ngunit, sila ay magkaiba dahil liquids have fixed volume but not fixed shape. Ibig sabihin, maaaring magiba ang hugis ng liquid kapag nilagay sa iba't ibang container. Pagdating naman sa compressibility, hindi yun madali i-compress ito kasi walang masyadong space ang particles ng liquid. Pero kumpara sa solid, mas madali itong i-compress. Tulad sa picture sa screen, 
medyo may space yung mga particles, di ba? Kaya mas madali itong i-compress kaysa sa mga solids. Ilan sa halimbawa nito ay ang maple syrup para sa mga nagpa-pancakes, shampoo, olive oil, orange juice, at iba pa. So, meron ka pa bang naisip ng mga liquid na nakikita mo sa iyong bahay o sa school? Kung meron pa, you may type your answers in the comment section below. At ang huling form ng matter ay ang gas. Ito rin ang pinaka naiiba sa tatlong forms ng matter. Oo, may mass at volume ito, pero gases do not have a fixed shape and fixed volume. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong container ito ilagay, mag adjust ito sa shape and volume ng container na nilagay yung gas. Ang huling form ng matter ay ang gas. Ito rin ang pinaka naiiba sa tatlong forms ng matter. Oo, may mass at volume ito, pero gases do not have a fixed shape and fixed volume. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong container ito ilagay, mag adjust ito sa shape and volume ng container na nilagay yung gas. At huli, gases are compressible because of the larger spaces of its particles compared to solids and liquids. Makikita natin sa screen na maraming space yung mga particles, di ba? Kaya madali itong i-compress kasi may pupuntahan pa ang mga particles nito kumpara sa solids and liquids. Ilan sa halimbawa nito ay ang helium gas sa loob ng balloon, yung steam from a kettle, yung argon and nitrogen gases sa loob ng tank. Can you think of other examples of gases in your house or sa iyong school? Kung mayroon pa, you may type your answers in the comment section below. Ngayon naman, magbibigay ako ng ilang questions na susubukan ng understanding and knowledge mo about the topic for this session. You may pause the video to answer kasi sasagutan din natin to. So, pakicheck din po ang iyong answer kung tama. Okay, so simulan na natin to. Challenge question number one. Sheldon plans on saving his extra allowance to buy a new pair of sneakers. With that, he thought of putting his extra coins in a small container. After trying several times, the coins do not fit the whole of the container. Why did that happen? Pakisagot po ito. Ayun, check natin yung answer nyo ha. So, yung answer dito is that the coins cannot be placed inside the container because it has a definite shape that can't adjust to the shape of the container since solid po ang ating coins. Okay, so challenge question number two. Howard is helping his mother to cook some dessert. He was tasked to pour all of the 100 ml milk into 50 ml containers. How many containers does Howard need to pour all of the milk with that? So explain how it happened. Pakasagot po ito. Ngayon, i-check natin ang iyong answer. So that happened because milk is an example of a liquid. Since milk has a definite volume and indefinite shape, it will have the same volume even if they are transferred to different containers. And with that, the milk should be poured onto two 50 ml containers. Paano po ba ito nangyari? Ipakita natin sa simple solution na ito. Mayroon tayong 100 ml ng milk. Kailangan daw natin to transfer sa 50 ml containers. Ang gagawin natin is 100 ml divided by 50 ml equals 2. Tama kayo. So, 2 containers ang lalagyan natin ng milk. At last, challenge question number 3. Raj found some balloons in his sister's room. He got the pump and inflated the circle, heart, and the number one balloon. He was shocked to see how the balloons were inflated using only one kind of pump, even though the shapes of the balloons were different. How did the situation become possible? Explain it to Raj. Please answer po. Now let's check your answers. So gases do not have a fixed shape and volume. Because of that, they can adjust to the shape and volume of their container. That's what happened to the balloons. Since some have the shape of a circle, heart, and number one, that is what the gas has formed. It only followed the shapes of its containers. With you, dear learners, already having the knowledge of the characteristics of solids, liquids, and gases, let us now answer the post-test again as promised kanina. 
Okay? Number one, what best describes matter? It is letter B. Matter is anything and everything that has mass and volume. Diba? If the object can be weight and it takes up space, then it is matter. Number two, Cheska is writing in her notebook. Cheska's notebook is an example of solid objects. Which of the following best describes the reason why her notebook is solid? The answer to that is letter A. Her notebook does not change its shape. Since her notebook did not change its shape, it is solid. Number three. Princess is eating in the dining room as she notices that some mangoes are colored yellow while others are colored green. What state of matter are the mangoes? The answer to that is letter A, solid. The mangoes are solid whether they have different colors. Solids have a great range of colors and features. Number four, Ben is playing group objects on his phone. The objects are coins, ice, and milk. Which of these objects is not solid? The answer to that is letter C, milk. Milk is not solid, it is liquid. It is because it flows and it takes the shape of its container. Number five, which of the following is true? The answer is letter C. Gas takes the shape and volume of its container. Gases do not have a definite shape and a definite volume. It takes the shape and volume of whatever the container it is placed on. Number six, Maria walks to school. One day, as she was going home, the rain poured out. She was not worried because she brought her umbrella. What state of matter is the rain an example of? The answer to that is letter B, liquid. Rain is an example of a liquid because it can flow. It also takes the shape of the container but not its volume. Number seven, Lena poured water into her cup. Then when her mother asked her to transfer the water to a taller cup, she was shocked with what she saw. So she transferred the water again to her cup. What did she observe? The answer to that is letter A. The volume of water did not change. Remember that the amount is the same since liquids have definite volume whether they are poured onto different types of containers. Only its shape changes but not its volume. Number eight, among the objects, which is an example of a gas? The answer is letter B, smoke. Smoke is an example of a gas because it readily takes up the shape and volume of the room. Number nine, which of the following is true about gases? The answer to that is letter C. Gases take the shape of its container. That is why balloons have different sizes since gases can adjust to the shape of the balloon. It is the same thing with the bicycle wheels. And lastly, number 10, Sally is amazed at how the water turned into ice when she placed it in the freezer. What is the state of matter of water and ice? The answer is letter C. Water is liquid while ice is solid. This is because water can take the shape of the containers while the ice remains its shape. And now please count the number of correct items in your answers. And if you got a 10 out of 10, you had a perfect score. Congratulations, you did well. If you have um, 8 to 9, you still did well. If you got 5 to 7, it's still a good job for you. And if you had less than five as a score, it is okay, but you can do better next time. That is all for our session for today. Once again, we have tackled the characteristics of solids, liquids, and gases. Specifically, we differentiated solid, liquid, and gas based on their observable properties. We classified common objects found at home and in school according to solids, liquids, and gases. And lastly, we cited practical applications to the characteristics of solids, liquids, and gases found in your homes. I hope this session for today helped you to understand the lesson that you are having a hard time with at your school. The list of the assessments for this topic are shown on the screen. The links for the assessments will also be posted for easier reference. You may access them and try to answer on your own to enhance your understanding of this topic. We have assessment number one, sa solid, liquid, and gas, pili na kayo. Assessment number two, candy crush, we like to move it. And assessment number three, help copy the cup. Again, I am Nikki Floran V. Castalo, a module creator from Filipino Science Hub. If you enjoyed and learned, please don't forget to follow us on our social media pages and accounts. We have for our website, www.filsaihub.com. For Facebook, we have at Filsaihub. 
for YouTube, we have Philsayal TV. For Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, we have at Philsayal Talk. We hope to see you again in the next sessions. Always stay safe. And remember, don't be afraid to learn. Bye!